I have a Toyota Corolla 2005. I'm sure this repair will work for many, many years before and after. Uh, a kid knocked our rear view mirror off the inside of the windshield, so I'm replacing that. Very, very straightforward. This will take you 30 minutes. Um, I bought a Permatex rear view mirror adhesive kit that comes with two things. One is a little wipe uh, with solvent on it. You uh, use that to remove any trace of existing dried uh, 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 glue adhesive off of the windshield and the, and the rear view mirror. And then the little white tube is, is the adhesive that comes with this. So it's a one-time usage kit. Um, you need a scraper of some sort. And uh, I'm not going to show it, but you basically just scrape all the old adhesive off of the windshield and you scrape it off of the, the rear view mirror. Um, then what you do is, this is a T15 uh, Torx bit screwdriver, and you can see the little piece of metal fitting in the rear view mirror. Um, you take that out and, and glue it onto the, the, uh, the windshield, and then you let it dry, let it cure, and then you put the rear view mirror onto the, the fitting. The, the, the rear view mirror itself is way too heavy to hang. Uh, with fresh, freshly applied adhesive on the, the on the mirror. All right, uh, so this is very, very straightforward. There's a peel open uh, sachet with the uh, the green uh, wipe inside with the, the is solvent, because it is solvent. The instructions say don't touch the uh, the green wipe. Use the whole pack and uh, get a, get a good clean on the windshield. Get all the old solvent off, and then do the same thing on the uh, on the, the back of the rear view mirror fitting. All right, that's reasonably cleaned off. The instructions say wait two minutes. Uh, that's for the, I guess, the solvent chemicals to um, evaporate. And uh, don't touch the metal, don't touch the windshield. Um, while this is drying, um, I'll point out one thing. In this car, you can see that the, the Toyota comes with a, you know, a little, little, um, cut out of where the the rear view mirror should go some cars don't uh and and if you don't have that sort of a cutout, take a, a a marker or take some masking tape um, on the outside of the car and uh, mark where before it comes off if you can mark where the uh the rear view mirror used to be okay um so you can put it back in the right spot the, uh, the, the adhesive is just a twist off cap. Luckily I was using a, like an X-Acto knife to scrape the windshield uh, because this tube has a, a little top that you need to slice off, so do so. And then you'll be able to squeeze the, uh, uh, the little um, tube uh, to get the adhesive out. And then what you'll do is just put a nice, put a drop, a nice bead right on the, uh, on the, uh, uh, the rear view mirror window fitting. Before gluing, the metal fitting, make sure you know which direction it's going to fit onto the window. It would be very bad to glue the metal fitting upside down onto the windshield, okay? So fortunately, my Corolla has a shape of the cutout that looks like the actual metal fitting. Use the torque screwdriver and just uh, loosen up that uh, screw in the middle of the rear view mirror, and then the metal fitting on the opposite side will slide right out. Put one drop of adhesive on the middle of the fitting and then immediately get it in place, all right? Um, and I'll hold it there for one minute just so that the initial cure time um, happens and then leave it for at least 15 minutes and uh, you might want to be safe and even leave it longer. If you've got a couple hours to, to spare, I would leave it up there for as long as you can. Depending on the condition of your metal fitting, some people uh, want, will want you to sandpaper this. Um, I'm not going to. I think it's going to be fine, but uh, it sure would not hurt to, to do a sandpaper on this to get some, some uh, uh, edges. All right, I popped mine on. It took no more than five, maybe ten seconds for the, the adhesive to, to work. Uh, because that happened so fast, you want to make sure that you get your fit, the metal fitting perfectly positioned before the glue sets, okay? Because, you know, you'll have to obviously reverse this whole process if you're not happy with the location. Uh, with this adhesive, there's a lot of glue in there. So I'll hold on to this and uh, who knows, I might need it again. Um, but uh, there's, you know, a dozen uh, reapplications in this this tube. So, you know, hang tight, it'll, it'll go a long, long way. Uh, I think that's it. Um, when you put this back, just take the rear view mirror and it'll slide right back onto the fitting and then tighten it down with the screwdriver and, and you're done. Good luck.